Hi, my name is Nick, aka the Coffee Detective, and today we're going to have a look at the Clever Dripper. Um, it looks very much just like a filter cone, like a pour over filter cone, like, like this one, uh, but actually it's not, and I'll, I'll show you why. The regular filter cone has a, bottom, a, a hole in the bottom, you put the filter paper, coffee in there, pour over, and it, and it just keeps, it starts pouring out the bottom of the cone immediately. With this, that's not the case. Like I say, it has a little valve at the bottom, and actually we're gonna get started and get started making coffee in this, and then I'll kind of explain things as, as we go along. So, I've put a number six paper filter in here. I've dampened it to get rid of any kind of papery taste. Um, I'm now gonna add coffee, which I ground about five minutes ago. Um, I'm gonna put in about one and a half coffee scoops. So that's like three tablespoon, full tablespoonfuls. Um, now you can use um, scales. You can you can make things a lot more accurate with scales. But I know my scoop well enough to know the weight of the coffee that I'm putting in there. So now this water is just off the boil. I'm going to put in about nine fluid ounces there. And um, there's nothing special about this coaster, just a piece of plastic. I'm putting it on there and I'm going to just add the water to the coffee. I'm going to put a little bit in first, let the coffee bloom a bit. But for the sake of speeding things up, I'm not going to leave it too long. And basically I'm just going to pour in the rest of the water. So I've got the right amount of water for the right amount of coffee, ground coffee. And now I'm just going to leave it to sit for four minutes. So let's get that set up. Let's get that started. Okay, so that's started. Um, I'm going to put the lid on there to keep the water temperature uh, you know, to stop it from cooling down too much. So, weird, weird filter cone, right? Because the, the water and the coffee are sitting in the cone. So, in a sense, it's it's visually similar to a regular filter cone, but actually, it's an immersion process, uh, which makes it more like a French press, where again, you put in the ground coffee, you put in the right amount of water and you wait for for you know anything between three and a half four and a half minutes depending on your preference and you let it sit so that's exactly what we're doing here so is this just fanciness for the sake of it or is there something useful happening here with that with that little seal at the bottom um actually what it does is it makes pour over coffee making an awful lot easier because here's the thing if i'm using a regular this is like a hario filter cone here I put in my filter, I put in my ground coffee, and then I'm gonna have a nice little kettle and I'm gonna start pouring the water. Now, like I say, as soon as the water penetrates and soaks into the coffee, it starts dripping out the bottom. Now, we wanna leave this to brew for about approximately four minutes. This means that if I'm using pour over, I have to pour very precisely, very carefully, because I want the water in contact with the ground coffee for about four minutes, which means I've got to spend about four minutes pouring. And I can't finish the pour too soon, I can't finish the pour too late. So pour over takes a lot of practice. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, it's a fantastic way to make coffee, and it gives you absolute control uh, over each cup you make. But it takes practice, and it's really not easy. Uh, the French press is much easier because basically you just add the ground coffee and the water together and you just let it sit. You can go off, read the paper, do whatever you want for four minutes, come back, press the plunger. And it's very similar here. Now, I'm just going to give it one little stir. I don't know whether that's strictly necessary, but I like to do that. Um, and it's still sitting here and eventually I'm just going to uh, put it into this mug here. 
Um, what else to say? This is, it's, it's plastic, um, but it's non-BPA plastic, so it's a safe plastic, so you don't have any worries there. Uh, one of the things that I really like about this, other than the simplicity of making the brew, is that once I'm done, clean up is as easy as it is with this. You know, I just take this over to the sink, I pull out the filter paper with the gr wet ground coffee, um, you know, I can bin it, I can put it in recycling, whatever, and really I'm just giving then, um, just, I just have to give this a quick rinse and a, you know, light soap and it's done. Not like the French press where you get all the coffee grinds mixed up with the plunger and you have to really give it a good wash. So, we are, where are we? We've got another few seconds here. So, it's an immersion method like the French press, but I still get an awful lot of the flexibility that I get with the pour over. For instance, I can adjust the proportion between the hot water um, and the ground coffee. Um, I can adjust the brew time. Um, I can even adjust the temperature of the water a little if I want to. So unlike you know automatic coffee making with a drip brewer or a single serve brewer, I have all the flexibility here of the pour over method, um, but it just makes life easier for me because I don't have that com you know the complexity of having to pour at exactly the right volume, exactly the right speed, so that I finish at the right time. So we are at four minutes and six seconds. So. Um, I take it off and when I place it over the coffee mug, the valve is automatically opened and the coffee pours through. Uh, it starts off pouring very quickly because there's some water that's already come through the filter and is captured above the seal there. Um, the last little bit, it's now, now coming down through the coffee, uh, the ground coffee, so it'll take uh, you know, another 10-15 seconds um, to, to complete the process. Um, but in fact, if I, if I want to stop it now, then I've got a couple of drips, but the valve automatically closes again. So really nice like that. Um, you know, so if, you, if you've actually miscalculated a bit and there's too much water going into your cup, you can lift it off at any time. Uh, you know, no drip, no fuss, um, and very simple. So that's it. That is the Clever Dripper. Um, I really like it. I've made a few cups of coffee this way. I've experimented a bit. Um, I've tried different origins with this uh, and I really like it because uh, actually I really like the pour over method whether it's with the filter cone or with the Chemex um, but I must admit I'm probably not quite patient enough to do that as well as I should um, so this is perfect kind of pour over well is it pour over it's, it's a combination of pour over and French press uh, but it's the perfect compromise for people who are either impatient or get a little distracted or simply want to make it really easy to make a great cup of coffee. So that's it. That's the Clever Dripper. I hope you found that demonstration useful. Thank you. Bye.